Why is your site slow? Part two. If you're tired of seeing these complicated performance reports where it's unclear what will actually make a difference, you can rest easy because I've done a lot of the work for you and I've been able to narrow it down to four categories that I've seen have the most impact on website performance. In this part two, we're gonna cover CSS. In CSS, the main three culprits I've seen hurt people's site performance is not using code splitting, not optimizing font loading, and using too many background images when image tags might be better. The rule of thumb with CSS is to make sure not to download more CSS than is needed. So if you have your entire website styles in one giant style sheet, you're gonna download way too much for a given page. Versus if you make sure to do code splitting, so your homepage only downloads the homepage CSS and any other page only downloads the needed CSS that can make a big difference in how much is downloaded and thus your performance. Some tools that can help with this are things like CSS modules and CSS in JS. Second is font loading. Fonts can be large files and might be required to download before text is visible on your page. To make sure this doesn't hurt your website performance, make sure first to inline your font styles. So instead of having them in a style sheet that first gets downloaded and then the font files can download, if you have it in the HTML directly, the font files can be found and downloaded sooner. Second, make sure to set the font display property using either optional or swap can ensure that your content displays as fast as possible without being blocked on font downloads for too long. Next, be careful with your usage of background images. Background images cannot be optimized as much as image tags. They cannot be lazy loaded. It's not easy to have different image sizes deliver for different device sizes. You can't use other options like decoding async. And so oftentimes it can be smarter to use image tags where you can use a lot more optimal options than background images that tend to load too large of images too frequently. In particular, if you have large images like hero images loaded via background images, really consider using image or picture tags. If you would like to see which of these suggestions would make the biggest impact on your website, we have a performance testing tool for this, where you can enter your website and get a grade for each of these areas. If you're not optimizing your CSS well, we will give you tips to ensure that your site CSS is as optimized as possible. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for parts three and four soon.